2016. Uh, I see balls, which is so awesome. And I did, I got here too late. So I ended up actually not getting to get much footage down on the falls. That's a bunch of times, some strange dude came at me. And I was, I was swimming trunk city, so who knows. And I thought this was a possible trail. <laughs> Getting lost in the woods with Rot. So, this is Hiking with Rot, episode 17. And it's part two, a continuation of the Dickinson. But you know what, I did Forest Ridge Park like 10 times. So, doing this one a couple times. It's great. It's a beautiful fucking day. It's a uh, Thursday. One of my last days off here for a while. Because it is time to get motivated so that I can bring you better quality ones. Well, I'm going to have a t-shirt made that says I work two jobs. One of them's at a weed store. And I still ran out of pot today. <laughs> That's a stupid t-shirt. Never mind. I'm not going to do that. Mass is supposed to be... Oh, no. Dennis. Dennis, 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 did you do that? Well, we have what I would be considered uh, hiking with Rot's first party foul, and I just jumped out the bowl like some sort of rookie bitch. See, that's what I was saying, man, because you get this trail over here actually gets rather windy, and when that happens, it's crazy. And I'm actually kind of pissed because I put myself on this road now, and I can't seem to get back to the damn trail. And this isn't hiking down a road with a rat. But technically it is a trail. It's listed as the easy trail, you know? And like up here anyways, it cuts over to this road. So I basically just took a shortcut. See, so these spots would be taken up a little better when I had a guest, because I'd be asking them questions. But that's fine, that's fine, Ryan. I get it. Don't want to be on some podcaster show who just drinks water and coffee. That's such a piece of shit. I hate that. I hate being a karaoke guy who goes into a bar and they just drink. And so I tip fucking fairly heavy, I think, for water and coffee. So, well, this is interesting. So I believe, sorry, I didn't mean to spin so fast. I believe that is the trail that I'm supposed to come out to here. And then we just go this way. So eventually here, we're going to actually get back onto a cool little trail. Oh, berries. Berries are coming out. It's a bear season. Right. Fuck it. God, it's time to smoke this joint. So right here, I've got... Well, we gotta go see what the fuck that was. <laughs> Some sort, I think it's a grasshopper or something. Some form of bug that makes predator-style noises. That freaks me out. Where are you? Where are you? Oh! Dude, what the shit? Oh, Washington, you are a trip. Anyways, it looked like a butterfly with metal wings. I'm walking away now. I'm walking away. We're scared. We don't know what that is. I'm already at eight minutes on a second. All right, so we got Big Blazer, Purple Urkel, Indica, full flavored, one gram joint. Beautiful. Uh, not that I buy too much into this shit. I will read it off for you in case it does matter. Um, let's see here. Total cannabis, 20.43%. THC, 17.C. Well, you know what? And you know what? I am going to say where I got this from because we are a community of businesses that work together as far as I'm concerned. If I'm wrong, then I don't want to be in an industry that thinks like that. So I got this from Pacific Cannabis. Um, I've been shopping there for a while. I kind of, of course, haven't lately. Uh, but that's because uh, it's just kind of out of walking range. So, and plus, I've been planning on working where I work for quite a while. But it's okay to do that. I mean, that's why we give industry discounts to each other. Because we want to we wanna know what's going on. Who's got what? Maybe you come into my store. I don't have what you want. Instead of sending you somewhere where I don't know or respect them, I'd rather send you to a store that I know. So, yeah, thanks. Props. Uh, to Joe Rogers, of course, of Comedy and Kitsap, who happens to work there, which is another reason I went there, because it's a personal experience for me. Um, and I told him to give me the most powerful indica. So now, 
how we dance. Right. Let's get way out. Yeah. Now, well, okay. Critique number one is that fucking tip. It's a personal preference of mine, but I hate those goddamn things. Hate them. Hate them. Right. Well, now we are coming up on the signage. Uh, so, see how I want to do this. We'll go ahead and light this bad boy right now. That down. Okay. So here we go. Purple Urkel. Weed I've had several times with several companies. Let's get started. I mean, Jesus. Ugh. Fuck Marble Country. They ain't got shit on Flavor Country. Because that's it right there. Wow, they rarely does one hit off a joint, especially the first one. That's a good joint. Oh, yeah, look at it. Do that resin. All right. Purple Ergle. I mean, rarely does a joint jump automatic, automatically to, <laughs> to 2.5 hours without even getting past the first hit. All right. Here is where I'm at. We got a runner. Uh, Dickerson Trail. Dickerson Creek Waterfall. South Loop Troop. Trail and Zach's look out of the alley. I've only made it to the waterfall. Today I'm much more prepared to make it much further. Holy shit. I might just fall down my earth. This is good weed. Well played, lady. In its defense, other than juicy joints, there is rarely a joint that burns as evenly as I'd like. One of the reasons why I stayed away from joints so long is all this gross shit. Is uh because I feel like you waste a lot of it. But now considering the joints are six to eight bucks, <laughs> three dollar joints, you know, I stay away from those. But I'll smoke one if I have to. Oh man, I can feel this from the tip 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 of my head to my toesies. Oh yeah, you like the shirts, guys? It's the only thing I own that's not camouflage or black. So here we go. What is this shit? Why did I see this last time? See, I came out all fucked up. Okay, see, so somebody gave me bad directions last time. Because they made me go out on that road way too early. But this time, man, I mean, look at this shit. Slow pan, Dennis. Slow pan. Look at that. This time is in to throw some <laughs> shout outs. Because a self centered bastard like me, you know, who worries about myself. Jeff's basement. Fucking bullshit and shit and fun and his really is a blast. His is a ride. Even if you're a guest or you're watching it. It's a ride. And Jeff's a creative motherfucker. Um wow, we we're up to over four or five. Four point five uh hugs already. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and put this out. <laughs> So that I can enjoy it later because I'm stoned and I did only bring one little joint. So, yeah, purple Urkel, delicious, heady, hot as fuck. Fuck. I want to start jogging, but I can't physically supposed to not because of the joints. I shouldn't even be doing as much exercise as I do. But I think that's bullshit. I think they want me sick. I think they want me to fall for their drug-addled prison self-contained 
body systems. Sorry, Mom. They don't like me spitting. <sighs> well, just gonna keep this one rolling today. Eventually, I'm gonna be back in a bit. Well, uh, apparently, I just got called into work, which is awesome because I work at a weed store. So, I am going to head back now rapidly because I have got to go to work. But I'm going to go ahead and record this because I. Uh, Hopefully Allison watches this one day and hears this part right here because I'm letting her sweat it out of it just because I'm got a fucking twisted sense of humor. But I'm going to cover her, but she got her schedule mixed up, which happens. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> Especially when you have a new schedule system and everything else. But <laughs> nah, I got you, buddy. So here, those one people who told me the first time to just go that way. Well stupid. They just stayed on the cool trail. Idiots. I'm not looking for easy here. I am looking for a place to pee. So we're gonna pause this for a second. I'll be right back. You hear the water down there? For my Alaskan friends, this trail reminds me kind of of what uh, the Russian River was like back in the late 70s early 80s um god i'm old like all hands out like we get around to that trail over there especially hold on uh, no i'm not so yeah uh before i forget let's go ahead and rank this one this is going to be definitely a 5.5 Plus, a lot of decimal points. It's a delicious joint. Heady, whole body high. Nothing hurts right now. Everything feels groovy. That's what I look for. I mean, see, man, that's why, like, when I hike, I love hiking on my hot days, but in shady places. This place offers so much shade. Always shady. Whoa, I don't even that. That didn't make any sense. There you go. So I can pull off the shorts. Because <laughs> from here up, I'm metal as fuck. Down here, I'm like fucking chilling, man. These are awesome. Got them at a thrift store for a dollar. Get on this bad boy. I don't know. I hope that footage turned out all right. <coughs> what comes down to getting a good shot or I'm not falling out my face. Sorry, guys. She was not here to take me out for your entertainment. Pay no one to be on Rockcast or hiking with Rock. I will someday, though. I don't know. That'd be a trip, huh? Get somebody real on here. According to Big Bang Theory, you get like most of Star Trek characters for like lunch. Now ready. Well then. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh thanks for watching. Keep tuning in. Stay healthy. How you doing? Get called into work halfway to the waterfall. Uh I've only been up there once, but I'd say you're about ten minutes. Couple good sized hills. It gets creative up there. Yeah, but it's beautiful. It's worth it.